Welcome to Definite Mind. In this video, we will prove MN theorem or we can say MN rule. According to MN theorem, if there is any triangle ABC and the line segment BC is divided by the line segment AD in the ratio of M is to N with this alpha angle, this beta angle and this theta angle, then this two relation will come and I will prove both relation one by one. This theorem is important for finding area of triangle if such conditions are given that is alpha angle and beta angle, theta angle and the ratio of BD over DC so we can find area of this triangle and using this theorem also various questions are asked in various examinations so this is important watch this video till last since here this angle is theta so this angle will be what 180 minus theta if this angle is 180 minus theta and this angle is alpha then this angle will be theta minus alpha so that the sum of this three angle is equal to 180 and here if this angle is theta and this angle is beta then this angle will be what 180 minus theta plus beta so that sum of this three angle is also 180 now for proving we will use sign rule in the triangle ABD then we can write BD over sin alpha equal to AD over sin theta minus alpha we can write this implies BD over AD equal to we can write sin alpha over sin theta minus alpha we can write let's suppose this is first equation and I will also use sine rule in triangle ADC then we can write DC over sine of beta equal to AD over sine of 180 minus theta plus beta we can write this implies AD over BC we can write this as sine theta plus beta because using trigonometric ratios yeah you, you can formula you can say properties we can write this sine 180 minus something sine something okay over sine beta let's suppose this is second equation and if we multiply first into second then we get what bt over ad into ad over dc equal to sine alpha over sine theta minus alpha into sine theta plus beta over sine beta we can write and if you notice then ad ad get cancelled so we will left with bd over dc and you can see here the ratio of bd is to dc is what m is to n that is so we can <clears throat> equal it as m is to n and if we do cross multiplication then we can write n sin alpha into sin theta plus beta equal to m sin beta and sin beta minus alpha we can write okay so this means n sin alpha and if we expand using trigonometric formula then we can write sin theta into cos beta plus cos theta into sin beta and here also if we expand then we can run write sin theta into cos 
alpha minus cos theta into sin alpha. And if we multiply this with these two terms, then we can write n sin alpha into sin theta into cos beta. And here n sin alpha into cos theta into sin beta equal to here also we will multiply with this two term then we can write m sin beta into sin theta into cos alpha minus m sin beta into cos theta into sin alpha we can write and if we divide both side by sin alpha cos sin theta and sin beta if we divide this by this 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 two then we can write sin alpha and sin theta get cancelled so here in cos beta over sin beta that is in cot beta we can write and here sin alpha sin beta get cancelled so here will be in cos theta cot theta and equal to this side sin beta and sin theta get cancelled so m cos alpha over sin alpha that is m cot alpha and here sin beta sin alpha get cancelled so m cos cot theta we get bring this minus m cot theta this side and plus n cot theta and this send right side then m cot alpha minus n cot beta take cot theta common then we can write m plus n cot theta equal to m cot alpha minus n cot beta that we have to prove actually so first relation is proved here and for second relation since this is a 180 minus theta and this is theta minus alpha and this is 180 minus theta plus beta for proving second relation that is this relation I will draw perpendicular line from vertex A to on BC let's suppose this is this L and this is 90 degree actually perpendicular line that's why then we can write in triangle a b l cot b equal to we can write base y perpendicular base over perpendicular the base is b l and perpendicular is a l and BL is actually sum of BD plus DL so we can write BD plus DL over AL and we can write this as BD over AL and plus DL over AL you can see in triangle ADN this is a right angle triangle and DL over AL that is base over perpendicular means cos theta so in place of this we can write cos theta that is BD over AL plus cos theta we can write this means we can write BD over AL equal to cot B minus cot cot theta we can write okay let's suppose this is first and in triangle a 
CL also we can write cot C equal to base by perpendicular base is CLC and perpendicular is AL and LC can be written as DC minus DL and over AL so we can write DC over AL minus DL over AL we can write here also cot C equal to DC over AL and in place of DL over AL we can write cot theta okay this means DC over AL equal to what cot C minus plus cot theta we can write because this will cause this side then become plus and now if we let's suppose this is second and if we divide first over second then we can write actually BD over DL and DC over AL here BD over AL actually then AL AL get cancelled this means BD over DC equal to what cot B minus cot theta and cot C minus cot theta and BD over DC is actually what M is 2N because the ratio is given M is 2N so we can write equal to M is 2N now if we do cross multiplication for this then we can write n cot beta minus n cot theta equal to m cot c minus m cot theta we can write and if we bring this to this side here I am I have done mistake cot C minus cot theta actually cot C plus cot theta no? so here is what M M cot C and plus M cot theta okay now if we send this to this side then here in cot B and this bring this side M cot C equal to M cot theta and plus n cot theta and if you take a cot theta common then you will write m plus n cot theta equal to n cot b minus m cot c and this is we have to prove actually so this is also proved thanks for watching this video and please like share and subscribe this channel also